place before I put a load of buckshot in your ass. Vengeance Trail, great movie. The action was fantastic. Storyline, awesome. Go see it if you got a chance. We sit here in suburban America in 2023 and we forget kind of like who built this country, who gave us this opportunity to kind of live in our comfortable, like ranch style homes. It's Jim and it's best. Oh, now son, that's a fine looking woman. Now Gramps, start. I think there's a lot of things that were just kind of fascinating about where we came from. And I think it's fun to watch just a fantastic movie about how the West is won. You know what I mean? You know, the thing that's fun about Westerns is they're action movies, but in a case like this one where the law is corrupt. Do you notify the sheriff? No, why? I figured the girl could use your help more than the law could help the dead. If you don't mind, Doc, I'd, I'd rather not go into the sheriff's office. It's trying to figure out, you know, how do you seek justice? How do you do the right thing? Say, Doc, what about old Jack? You know, bartender over to Two Spot. Now, he's an old friend of Emery's, and he might just throw in with him. Jack's loyal to Emery, but he's no killer. My favorite part, probably the shootout in the finale. Well, Bess needed to be a little more, you know. I need you to do me a favor. I can help. <laughs> Dropping everything she was doing to go help. Wasn't no. enough? No. Maybe Jim didn't say, the right thing to the right time. Right. Right. But well, I didn't have anything to offer except a hard scrabble future. But he got back up. He yeah. killed him back up. He saved Bess. He saved Bess. Bess kind of saved herself. She did. Hey, look, you don't, you don't give a bad woman a gun. No. <laughs> Jim, you know I can shoot near good as you with a rifle. Bess, this ain't no place. That's, that's true, boy. Oh. I'll give her the dispensary. Right. It'll, be, it'll be better to have two guns covered in than one. You can tell the medical knowledge of the doctor was probably pretty close to what they had, which was <laughs> slim. Correct. But if she survives the night, I, I think she'll survive. Don't hold me to that. No telling with head injuries. I'm glad I didn't get sick back in the night. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think there's like, a, as a kid in the, the 21st century. My friend who's not really big on guns <laughs> and westerns, but I think he liked it. Take someone for the road, Jack. <laughs> Get up, nasty. You need to put a lot of dogs out there. Like, you grow up watching your gym or your best, you gotta chase the bad guy and, right. and shoot the guns. I think it's something nostalgic that anybody can kind of get behind and enjoy. Yeah. No, and it was just the way the, the town was built was, you know, it, you could tell that it, it, I mean, it felt like it was pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. So there's some in imperfections here and there. It's like real life though. This is how it was back then. I agree. I didn't know you were out of prison. Sheriff Bowman around? Things have changed. The nice thing about the Western genre is just this moral conflict. Put a lot of bucks on your ass! That's what you should have done. <laughs> that was great. Good night, Jack.